Welcome to my kitchen kingdom where this old man cooks. Welcome to Kitchen Kingdom, where this old man throws down to chow down. In this episode, I'm going to prepare black bean sliders, mini kimchi pancakes, and baked plantains. So let's get ready to rattle some pots and pans. First thing we're going to do is start with the black beans for the black bean sliders. You want one can of frijoles negros. You want to drain this and reserve your liquid. Now you want some of your herb infused butter. Remember this? This right here is going to be the one that I made, which was rosemary and thyme. Take about a half a tablespoon. Mix that in there because some of this reserved liquid is going to be used to moisten the black bean burger. In a processor, you're going to take about three quarters of your beans and process them down. Might want to scrape it down for a little bit. You don't want it totally smooth. You got some texture in with the uh, other beans that were reserved. So those are going to remain whole. We want these sort of like in between mush and texture. So we have the bean mixture transferred to the bowl and we are going to add the rest of our beans. Some chopped red onion, some corn, about one eighth cup of chia seeds and flax seeds, just to boost up the nutritional content. One eighth teaspoon each of salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And one third cup of mashed potato flakes, which we are going to add gradually. Now remember, we still have the reserve liquid. We're going to be working with that too. Because these things combined are going to determine the moistness and texture of the burger. So you're gonna have to get in there with your hands and just roll it around. You don't have to worry about squeezing because if you use your fingers to, like that, the vegetables and the beans will come together. Some will remain on the outside, but for the most part, back in the bowl. You always have these ingredients that try to escape their feet. And I think I'm really satisfied with the, it is sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and start incorporating some of my mashed potato flakes. I want it to be just a little bit tighter than that. Although when these do bake off, I'm going to bake these, not fry them. And they are allowed to set. They will get pretty firm. And I think that's about it. I'm going to start forming these patties. Now we're going to take the bean mixture and form our sliders. Just knead them gently. Get them to the desired thickness and size that you want. And then bake these babies off in a 350 degree oven. Flipping one halfway through the 30 minute cook time. Now that the black bean sliders are baking off in the oven, we're going to start with the kimchi pancake. Now you buy your kimchi like this. I don't think you're gonna make it, but you're gonna want one cup of it. So I already have some in the bowl. You're just gonna take some out. You wanna use most of the green part of it. And kimchi is made from cabbage that has been fermented for long periods of time and when you smell it you're not going to want to eat it but it's very good trust me once you get past the smell 
So you just give it a little chop. And I'm going to let it join the bowl to make one cup. And to this bowl, I'm going to add one quarter cup of water, three tablespoons of the juice that the kimchi come in, about three scallions finely chopped, one half teaspoon of turbinado sugar, you can use white sugar if you want, and one half cup of brown rice flour. We're going to mix this up. Now we know everything is fully incorporated in this. We're going to let it rest for a bit and get ready to fry it. For the plantain, you can also use green banana. What we're going to do is first boil it with the peel on it. After the plantain is cool, simply peel and cut into pieces. Treat the pieces to some herb infused oil and seasonings of your choice. I'm using granulated onion, dried parsley flakes, minced garlic, and some ranch dressing powder mix. Coat well and bake at 450, 15 to 20 minutes. With the plantains in the oven, we can start frying the kimchi pancakes. Time to plate up. We have our black bean burger on the plate. I'm gonna treat them to a little drizzle of tahini paste. It's just sesame seed ground. Now we're going to plate up our kimchi pancake. Oh yeah, let's treat that to some chopped chai. And we're going to plate up our baked plantain. And we're going to treat both it and our black bean burgers to a little pimento. Let's chow down.